In this video, we're going to be covering Lucky's whole discography, a full review. But before we start, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to turn on post notifications so you get every video after without further ado. If you guys want to see the first ever discography review, I made one on Fonny, which is kind of ironic because, you know, if you know, you know, the link will be in the description. If you want to check that one out, it did not disappoint. And I feel like a lot of people enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah, anyways, aside from that, we're going to continue on with lucky. Now I did make a lucky documentary as my first ever video on this YouTube channel. So I feel like every time I make a lucky video, I feel like I got to like really apply pressure with it. Like I know I have a lot of lucky fans. Like clearly I just put a poll up. I was like, who's your favorite out of these four and lucky really won that shit. I was like, yo, if this was back in the day, like when I first started listening to him, it would have not been like that we're gonna get straight to it all right so the first ever project this is for the people that don't really know the old lucky there's people that really think i don't know lucky like they think i was like i'm a new guy like that shit is so crazy i'm not here to prove that i am but like that shit is cool the first and most anticipated project that lucky dropped back in the day was alternative trap if you guys have not heard it it's probably because you're a newbie i'm just kidding this project was kind of like a uh, break in the matrix like it, it's literally in the title it's alternative trap back when at one point lucky was in glow gang but like in, in a weird way it's kind of like he was the alternate version of chief keith because you know this whole trap scene is going crazy in chicago you know shy rack like and then you have lucky and chance of rapper and those type of people you know making their own waves like it, it was crazy because back in the day chicago had a very very popular like blog scene you know this is where cole bennett came from this is where a lot of people came from like there's a lot of uh underground rappers that i know to this day because of chicago blogs like an alternative trap was like in that mix like it was it was kind of there at a really cool time when elevator was you know elevator <laughs> and i say all this to say that alternative trap has a lot of nostalgia points like a lot of nostalgia points and it's not exactly you know an album that we can you know listen on repeat every day sure some people can do that i personally can't and at the end of the day this is my opinion so if i get a single comment saying like that's not how i would rate this shit it's like all right bro well this is my opinion bro like this is me you guys let me know what you put the albums in and what order i'm gonna give you mine right now uh the alternative trap so first off i want to name all the popular songs or not exactly well the popular songs and the breakthrough ones at the time was count on me one and two those were like like you know those were the the singles that that lucky dropped and everybody was like oh shit these are cool you know they, the music video dropped for count on me and uh it went crazy uh we have songs like interest time wasted nikki wilson alternative trouble everything outside and no troubles so first things first my favorites are nikki wilson alternative trouble and no troubles i left a little bit of a footnote for myself so uh songs like nikki wilson alternative trouble and uh everything outside get those all were like hinted sounds as to what lucky was going to sound like by the time like watch my back came out which we'll get to since it's the first project we're gonna have to put it in first place of course the next project was uh body high so body high is a funny one because I don't think I personally really gave it the time of day. Uh, Body High was actually a project that Lucky wasn't even really too proud about because he was like on a lot of drugs when he made it and he has an interview with Cole Bennett, funny, uh, funny enough. I was so disappointed in that mixtape. Like, I was so disappointed for like, but that was just like, because I made the entire mixtape just off Zan. Just, I was 17, I made that shit, you know what I'm saying? So. And then Complex put that shit in the top 50. And I remember when I was 16, Alternative Trap came out and Complex didn't put me in the top 50 at the end of the year. My heart was broke, you know? Like, my heart was broke in half. Like, you feel me? Like, you know, Body High did a lot for Lucky. And to be honest, looking back, he had a lot of like really good, like, honestly, really good songs. Like, I think my favorite song out of this whole project now, like today, it, well, actually, it's a mix. It's either Reflections or Fourth Commandment Broken. Those two songs are definitely my favorite. 197 Trap Talk. Uh, that one has a crazy underground bass sound that like pretty much embodies like what like when you listen to that song, that's pretty much what underground music sh like was. It was like a really good blueprint, I'd say. To be honest, a very good project for a, an album that I definitely did not really pay too much mind to. Like, it, I remember it randomly just showed up, recommended somewhere, and I was like, oh shit, like he has a project that I've never heard about. This is after Son of Sam, and I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna listen to it. 
Uh, at the time, it wasn't actually too good. Like to me personally, I, I don't know why I couldn't listen to Body High too much. Like it wasn't really one that I appreciated until like later on where I was like, oh shit, you know what? It's actually not that bad, bro. Uh, the next project was X. Now X is this and along with a lot of EPs that he dropped, which I'm not going to talk about EPs because this is a full album review, like full discography album review. Um, this project is one of the only pro this is probably the only project that is like definitely carried by a song in my like in my brain i'm like oh i know x because of <laughs> because of low life bro low life is one of my favorite songs of all time iconic music video out there uh, uh he has songs like bird gang bird gang also does have a music video it's a pretty good song uh you have a classic stevie wonder is an underground classic that's with um uh, with young chop and stevie wonder there's a clip on youtube you can find it where uh, they're pretty much in the studio together and you know they're all paying homage to each other and it's all it's a pretty cool ass clip last april g me and this nigga was working we was studying y'all niggas g this shit crazy as hell us right now <laughs> 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 Before I made alternative trap, fo, like we was studying y'all niggas, fo, fo, you know that song, Paranoia, fo, fo, that song made alternative trap, fo, when I heard that shit and then designed the fo, like it's ever since then, it's, it's everybody, you made, everybody want to make you made the whole city crack, dude. You, made you have finesse too in that project and you have what I want to. Uh, honestly, a pretty good project. Like, like I said, Low Life will make this good. Um, Low Life made this a pro a good project just off of that one song. So anything else is really like a bonus to me. That's how I personally see it. The next project is Free Wave. Free Wave is the beginning to so much. Honestly, I can say every project has nostalgia points because it really does, bro. Free Wave is probably the most listened to mixtape. For me personally, I think I know the whole project. Like I know every Free Wave song just because at the time when it was out, that's when I was like finding out about Lucky and I was like, uh, this, may, this is gonna be super off topic, but I was like morbidly obese. Like I was fat as hell, right? So I was listening to Free Wave like when I would go on runs and stuff and I would try to like learn the lyrics so that I could like pass time pretty much. It, it's super off topic, but at the same time, that's the only reason why I was really like trying to listen to these songs and like learn them so that I, when I would go on my runs, I would just be like focusing on the lyrics and not how fucking like how much I was dying while I was running. Uh, you have songs like Free Wave 1 that are good. My favorites for sure are Back Home, Newer Me. Uh, my original favorite song of Lucky of All Time was Free Wave 5, crazy enough. Uh, Free Wave 8 is really good and you can't go wrong with the classic Saucin with Playboy Cardi. I don't exactly listen to it, but I can acknowledge that a song like Saucin is definitely a classic to a lot of people. So yeah, uh, as of right now, I would put, I would put Free, it's going to go in order again. So Freeway is going to take the number one spot. Everybody's going to scooch over. The next project, so Son of Sam, this is probably my most adored, like I love this project so much in the weirdest ways because if you really look at the meaning behind this project, uh, you can tell that Lucky was one not in a good place mentally, physically, and then like you know, you go look at the fucking double check music video that he just dropped with Cole Bennett, and then you look at um, if you go check out the New Generation interview that Lucky just had, bro, he literally talked about how in that double check video, like he was he was not like shit was not smooth sailing back in the day, and that was when Son of Sam came out, obviously because double check was in that project. You and Cole Bennett shot a video for double check seven years ago and it finally just coming out now i want to know and i think a lot of people want to know why it didn't you know originally come out i have no clue you see how i looked in that video it was dark times i have no clue <laughs> hey hey when you was uh holding the money the money, the money looked struggle i ain't gonna lie <laughs> and the whole meaning behind son of sam so like you guys could definitely go check out that documentary to get the full full scoop but pretty much son of sam had such a grimy vibe bro like when i think of grime bro and like that gritty underground sound it doesn't get any more underground than son of sam like everything about son of sam is so against industry mainstream whatever the whatever you want to say bro it is so grimy that i loved it so much at the time bro obviously double check is one of my favorite songs of all time shout out to kenny beats <laughs> if you know you know uh you have songs like with Grim Doza, dude, dude, Grim. Any song that Grim Doza is in is my favorite. One of my favorite songs. Grim Doza's like producing is 
is superior bro like it's crazy you have songs like syrup talk you have his only you have none to do this this project in its entirety is like really good obviously the nostalgia points and like me listening to this at the time and how much i loved it at the time makes me love it just as much now i don't really need to like explain that I pre i'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate to something like that uh i would definitely have to put this one in number one bro son of sam just fucking carried bro like son of sam was like that project so when it wasn't like major dsps it's like damn bro i can't even listen to my favorite lucky song like yeah my favorite lucky song of all time like freely i have to like go look on youtube and stuff which is unfortunate but it is what it is the next project is free wave 2 this is a very uh i'd say it's, it's definitely a lot more organized than son of sam free wave 2 was definitely like um uh, a, a new sound and definitely a step in the right directions in my opinion you have songs like dirty demon uh my favorite songs actually i'm gonna say my favorite songs my favorite songs are run with me clueless difference uh bloody freestyle and sixth sense but i will say if you've never heard of mind games before listen to that shit right now and realize like keep in mind look at when this project came out and then listen to that song and be like what like that was so ahead of its time in my opinion i could be wrong you know you could definitely agree uh disagree or agree with me it doesn't matter but that song to me it sounds so ahead of its time like that could definitely drop right now and it'll it'll still go crazy in my opinion okay this next project is i think the beginning of lucky being flawless <laughs> in my opinion so hear me out the next project is watch my back this is a project he came back to after taking like you know being on a hiatus but watch my back is one of those projects where i was like damn every song in here is fire but i can't just say it's my every song is fire so that i don't analyze each ones i'm gonna give you guys my go-to's for the most part you can't go wrong with uh miss me it was made by grim doza crazy enough that's one of my favorites uh you can't go wrong with poker face i feel like poker face was like that should be an anthem for lucky at the time because he literally has the lyrics underground king fuck your top charts and this is before he started going on this fucking three peat and shit with like free uh free wave three days before three and all that so like people were like stamping lucky as the underground king at this time like right here was when it was like certified nobody can say shit you know what i mean so a song like poker face was an anthem bro Uh, my other favorite songs are thank god uh new to me and waiting on those are my go-to favorites but the whole project is beautiful that ass like go listen to the whole project there's no skips that ass there's no skips but those are my four uh my go-to's for those that you know are running on crunch time those are my go-to next project like i said that was the beginning of it the next project is free wave three now here's the thing okay so this is where people are gonna be like oh you're you're dick riding blah 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 whatever because i you know i'm just a huge lucky fan i'm like he's my favorite rapper has been forever um but like when free wave 3 came out you know i'm just one of those kids that always has headphones in i'm at school just trying to pass time and like you know free wave 3 is out and stuff and like it was just such a good time to have this album so free wave 3 is definitely a flawless project from front to back this is one of those projects that i think this is the first project that made me start thinking like oh shit i should start like collecting vinyls from lucky <laughs> like this was like the beginning of it this project made me think like oh wow like lucky really made a full like a volume like this project has so much volume that like it's just it's just perfect and he hasn't disappointed since which is crazy as fuck to say but like it's just true bro i'm sorry if you don't agree with me but it is what it is my my go-to songs though like i said same as the last one watch my bag free wave 3 has go-to songs my go-to songs are out my way glory boy 2012 summer and 3d uh, uh outro so when I made my top five uh, lucky songs of all time, people were trying to be like, what? What about, what about this one? And what about this one? And what about this one? It's like, yeah. So a lot of the, I started to see, I was looking at the comments. I, I read the comments, bro. Like <laughs> you guys better be nice to me, bro. Sometimes they're not the greatest, but uh, in, in that comment section, for the most part, it was great. Like shout out to everybody that gave the recommend, uh, not recommendations, but more like, oh, like your top five. Um, I saw a lot of people putting songs that were in Free Wave 3 in their top five of all time, which I think is crazy. I think that's also why mine was kind of a little bit like conflicting because for me, like a lot of the songs that I picked in my top five, some the ones that are like old, on the older side, they have so much nostalgia points that people either don't even know about them or they heard them too late when it's like, it's kind of already past the time for, you know, to you, for you to like 
fully enjoy the music from back in the day. Um, but it was really cool to see that people are starting to put like Free Wave 3 songs as their all time favorites, whether it's because they're new or because this project was just that fucking good. Fuck it, bro. Free Wave 3 is going to take the number one spot, bro. We're going to scooch everyone over because, <laughs> dude, like that project was definitely like, like I said, the beginning of me thinking like, damn, this motherfucker is really making full volume like projects that are like, it's just so perfect. Like I said, like vi vinyl quality, like no skips type vibe. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to scooch everybody over. The next one is Days Before 3. All right, I'll just say this right now. This is the last time I'm scooching the albums over, okay? Days Before 3 is probably the best Lucky has ever dropped, in my personal opinion. This project comes with nostalgia points, female, like, talk about an album that was dropped at the perfect time, bro. This project was dropped when, like, like I said, you know, back in the day, I was listening to Free Wave to get the weight off and shit. I was doing sports at this time, so I was looking great. You know, I was talking, I was talking to hella females at the time. You guys might not believe it. You don't have to, but like, let's just say all the great experiences were enhanced even more because, like, it was just so prime me in high school when this project dropped that made it such a good project. And on top of that, this is probably the project that got Lucky the most numbers. Like. For the better, I, and if I'm not wrong, it's one of the biggest songs he has, aside from like Sunset from like Watch My Back, which I don't even think I mentioned. So my bad about that. Sunset is sometimes it doesn't even it doesn't even pop up in Watch My Back. Sunset's in that project. My go-to songs are For the Better. Hollywood Dreamer is one of my favorite songs of all time. Don't ask why. I just remember the first time li I was listening to this project heading back from some somebody's house, right? And like Hollywood Dreamer, like this project just came out and Hollywood Dreamer came on for the first time and like something about it just stuck with me, bro. I was like, damn, this shit is crazy. Like this shit is crazy, bro. Uh, the next one is Left for Dead. That one's like, you know, you just can't. Left for Dead, Throwback Thursday or TBT, whatever, you know, who knows? It might not mean that, but uh, <laughs> Send Me On My Way. Those are the go-to songs. It, you might even think I'm capping because there's not that many go-to songs. The whole project is crazy. Days Before Three, came out and then when almost there came out it was kind of like this was the three peat right this is when people started saying this is a three peat um i will say it is a good project it is a good project i personally didn't really resonate with it too much almost there i didn't really resonate with so there's no nostalgia points and there's no songs that i was listening to on repeat from there except for like uh faith and prada tune but faith came out before the project and that's when i was listening to it on repeat by the time uh by the time the project actually came out I haven't really listened to Faith, but I know it's a really good song. Uh, another go-to song would be like Outro Man and Prada Tune, like I said. So, ah, damn, you guys are gonna kill me for this one, bro. No lie. Okay, okay, keep in mind, this one didn't have a lot of nostalgia points and blah, 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 etc. whatever. I don't really have to explain. I'm gonna put this one right under uh, Free Wave. It is a good project, and I do believe in 3P. It was a good project. I know why it's called a 3P. I understand the songs that are good. It's just not all for me. The next project is Wake Up Lucky. This one is pretty good. I will definitely put this one uh, up there on the higher ups one because, uh, you know, we have songs on repeat like Used to Be, UGK, Cry Out. Sparks Vision is one that I just started listening to like a lot more now. Sparks Vision is really good. Uh, Love is War is really good. When Wake Up Lucky came out, that's when people were like, all right, man, anything now is just a treat to be like Lucky has nothing to prove other than this motherfucker is really that guy. And Wake Up Lucky was the first project for that. Like you already did the three P you already went crazy. Now anything you give us is really just like it's just a treat, right? That's how I took Wake Up Lucky. This is probably the project. Oh, this was the first project that dropped when I was uh, when I left Florida. Now that I was moved out of Florida, this was the per first project that I listened to in this apartment here. So obviously this is a really recent project. So I'm going to have to put this one up there because I do have songs on repeat just because it's it's a recent project. You know, I will put this one under. Hmm, I'm going to put this one under Watch My Back. I'm going to put this one under Watch My Back. Uh, but like I said, this is probably one of the projects that I'm listening to a lot of the time, but I can't put, you know what I mean? Like there's a bunch of nostalgia points. I can't say this shit over and over again, but like, yeah, bro, like wake up lucky is a really good project has a lot of repeat songs, but that's where I'm going to have to put it. You know, we're going to segue into the next one. So after wake up lucky, we have flawless like me that just dropped like two days ago, three days ago. I think from when I'm posting this video, it's going to be three days. Uh, cause these videos take a long time to edit. So I'm going to give myself two days. <laughs> so fall is like me just dropped. And I'm going to say this right now, bro. This is a good project, bro. Like I gave myself time. I could have done this shit the day of that it dropped, but 
I was like, nah, bro, I got to really see where I'm going to place this. Cause that was the first thing that I was thinking of when I, when Fani dropped his project and I was like, damn, I have to give it some time to like marinate in my fucking brain for me to really think like, all right, where am I putting this project? And I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Falls like me has a lot of good songs, man. I'm not going to lie. Like this, I think this is a project that I'm going to have on repeat a lot for a long ass time bro i'm not even bullshitting flawless like me has songs like geeked and blessed capital denim coincidence how the fuck goodfellas vvs uh, kiski and life mox art my favorite 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 pro uh, songs as of right now because it's gonna be like a little bit of a since it's recent i'm gonna be a little bit more in debt so capital denim is the one with um with future which is awesome because we all know that he loves future and now that he got that fucking cosine one and two the feature it's just fucking crazy the song is good as hell too but my favorite favorite songs out of this project have to be um it would have to be coincidence goodfellas vvs kiski and life mox art life mox art is probably my favorite songs out of the whole project just to give you an idea as to what i like out of this new project Life Mox Art is the number one song in this project for me personally. I totally understand that Capital Denim and Coincidence are gonna do way better numbers wise, but for me and my heart, Life Mox Art is that song for me. So uh, yeah, where am I gonna put this project? The moment of truth, bro. I'm gonna have to put this song, I'm gonna put this project above Watch My Back. I'm gonna put this one above Watch My Back, but right under Free Wave 3. Yeah, but the thing is, is the, the answer could change. So next time I do a full review on this shit, I will, who knows, bro, I might even switch it around. I keep the PSDs, like I have the files of like the charts that I already made for everybody that I'm gonna be working on. And like, who knows, bro, the next project comes out and be like, yo, I'm gonna switch st some stuff around. So stay tuned for that kind of stuff. Shout out to you for watching this video. If you made it to the end, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, of course, all that good stuff. And I uh, just wanna let you guys know the reason why I'm on this this angle now is because uh, my camera actually died that day and I didn't realize. So I'm just, I was just like talking for three minutes straight. Didn't even realize the camera turned off. Didn't have an outro because the camera turned off. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you for the support and let me know what you guys think of this whole thing, man Let me know down in the comments below. I really am gonna go and read uh, You know your top the way you would review this album So be sure to go do that and let me know what you guys want me to do in the future I already have a couple ideas in mind. So uh, yeah, man, let's get this shit going and uh, let's get to 10k. All right guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace